Good morning. My name is Elizabeth. If we haven't met, and I'm really glad that you're joining me today. This last weekend was Mother's Day, and I hope that that was a really great weekend for you. And as I've been thinking about mothers and the impact of women in my life, um, both the woman who birthed me and other women, um, I was thinking about a passage that I want to read you. And this is out of Isaiah 66, and it's verse 13. And it says, I will comfort you there in Jerusalem as a mother comforts her child. Let me read that one more time. I will comfort you there in Jerusalem as a mother comforts her child. And I think this passage is really interesting and really cool because a lot of times when we learn about God in the scriptures, um, it's through imagery of maybe talking about God as a father, which is true and wonderful. But once in a while, we get glimpses like this, where God is compared to a mother. I think that's really special as we celebrate the mothers, the women in our lives, that we remember that this is a quality of God too. And so I want us to sit with this passage in a couple of ways this morning. First, I want you to just take a moment and allow the comfort of God to meet you where you are today. I don't know what you're going through, but God does. So let's just take a moment and I want you to just receive the comfort of God today. As a mother comforts her child, so does God comfort you today. And secondly, God invites us to be imitators of him. He invites us to follow in his footsteps. And so I think he invites us to be a comfort to those who he puts in our path. And so I want us to just take a moment and to prepare our hearts and to just ask God, all right, is there someone today that you would like me to come alongside and comfort? Maybe it's one of our children. Maybe it's a neighbor. Maybe it's a coworker, a friend. But just take a moment and ask God, Lord, who are you inviting me to comfort today? God, we do thank you that you are the comforter, that you, in our greatest need, you come alongside us and you bring comfort right when we need it. Comfort, just like a mom does. And I pray that we would receive that once again from you today, especially if we're walking through something difficult. And I pray maybe if we're doing really well, that you would invite us to, um, to step out and to comfort those around us. Lord, would you put someone on our heart, someone on our mind today to maybe send a text to or reach out and call or have an encouraging word for that, that we might be a comfort to others. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a great day.